So hello everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to uh, put in more than one controller, USB controller and RetroPie. It doesn't matter which uh, version of Raspberry Pi you use, you could use a Raspberry Pi Zero W, you could use a Raspberry Pi 2, a Raspberry Pi 3, or a Raspberry Pi 4. Yeah, but I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3 in this setup here and to change the controls you simply go to RetroPie here go to RetroArc and then press for me it's A button, this red button you press that and then you get to this screen but let me go back so before you do that, if you it's if you insert a new uh, USB controller, you gotta press press select. I'm sorry, start, and go to configure input. And yes, and just hold down the button. I'm gonna hold down the A button. It's gonna detect the controller. And now I'm gonna set the controller. You have to configure the controller before you can use it. Just follow what it says exactly and press it. So I don't have all the buttons, but I'm still going to be able to configure the controls to use this controller. So I'm going to just press A. It says A is already taken, so I press A again. And then already taken, just keep pressing A. And then every time it says not defined. But that's okay. Just make sure you get to the end and then as for hotkey enabled I'm just gonna select select button just press select don't press on it for a long time just press it once very tap it very lightly and then press A to get out the next thing you want to do is go to retro arc to set the controls so I have two controls in this uh, Raspberry Pi 3. This is a Sony USB controller. This is a uh, just some generic uh, Super Nintendo USB controller that I bought on Amazon. So go to select, make sure you go to configuration first and go to uh, use global core options, make sure that's on. So this is going to save it for all the all the emulators that you'll be using. Then go to input next. You can select the maximum. You can select as many controllers as you like. So I have two controllers in this single board computer, so I'm going to select two. And then you should go back, and so it would update it. So if I selected one. I go back, input, I only have one port. So if I want the two, I go here, the two, and I go back, and then go back to input. And then I can set the controller. So I want to make this my primary controller. So to do that, I go here, I think I press right. And now the Sony PlayStation 3 controller is selected, and now I'm able to use it. So I press back with the X button, go back to port 2, and this one I'm going to select it as. I'm going to press right with the D-pad, or left, so that's a USB gamepad. And that's selected. So that'll be for player two. And this is for player one. And this um, gamepad has analog sticks on it. So I'm going to select RetroPad with analog. And uh, like I said, go back to settings and make sure this is selected. Global core options and go to configuration file and save current configuration you should be able to use that
before I do that, I want to change some thing, other things as well. I want to go to scaling and select core provided. So this gives you the gives you a better um, aspect ratio for the graphics. So here I'm going to save. And then you just go back and then quit retro arc and that's it everything is set you could use your controller uh, for any game system on your uh, retro buy okay right now i'm be running 1943 I'll be playing with the PlayStation 3 controller see here and this is going to be I'm going to play the second player with the NES SNES controller and as you can see it's working just fine so that's how you set the controls so if you had three players you would set a third control so that's it so anyways thanks for watching by Ace 1000KS 1975 signing out